finally we come to my favorite pickup from the car boot haul i picked up hey guys welcome to another wahab originals video my name is wahab it's been a while but as you can probably tell from the title of this video i finally managed to make it out to another car boot sale unfortunately just due to weather due to the, the pandemic i just haven't been going but i decided this weekend that i'm gonna make sure that i go to at least one boot sale and i managed to get there and got a pretty decent haul so let's get straight into it first up i've noticed that board games do really well and i managed to find a couple of good ones so we picked up the stock exchange game um, it's actually in very very good condition considering this game was like from 1965 or something oh, i'm dropping bits this is the condition on the inside I don't know if you can tell but this is all in very good condition it's got all the pieces that it's supposed to have in this particular game the pieces vary on in each copy of the game it actually says that on here i think i've got all the pieces from the looks of it it looks pretty good i picked this up for three pound fifty and looking at comparisons on ebay it's going for around 15 to 20 pound but actually on amazon there's one listed for 30 quid so i'm not sure whether i'm going to list this on amazon or ebay or, but I'll probably stick to eBay and just be happy with the 15.20. So that's the first item. And continuing with board games, I also picked up the business game. And I was under the impression, so I didn't, while I was at the uh, car boot, I, I wasn't checking eBay. The weather wasn't that great, so I didn't record and I wasn't pulling out my phone to have a look at uh, prices on eBay. I was going purely by instinct. But I seem to remember that this game used to be worth a fair amount of money. I paid £3.50 for this as well. Uh, it's from the same guy. But I thought this was worth like 30 40 quid. But based on current sold listings on eBay, I'd say this is worth about 15 quid as well. And again, it is mint inside. It's got all the pieces from what I can tell. I'm pretty confident that it does have all the pieces and it just looks very very clean so a business game one to look out for right we're done with the board games portion for the moment another thing i picked up at boot sale uh, i seen a guy with a couple of collector's vhs uh, sets so i picked up terminator one and two in the same box it's a little piece of history to be honest because it looks pretty cool I can get this off without damaging it so this is old school VHS tapes there'll be some people out there that never use them but yeah that's pretty cool I picked that up for actually it was a bit on the high end um, I picked well technically I picked it up for around six pounds but it was part of a deal uh, where we picked up two more collectors VHS tapes one was for Fantasia and the other one was for Beauty and the Beast but with the Fantasia one, I'm going to hold on to it for now. I don't think I'm going to list that straight away. It's something I'm probably going to keep. With the Beauty and the Beast one, unfortunately, that one didn't have the Beauty and the Beast, the actual videotape for the movie itself. It had um, another behind-the-scenes tape, but it actually have the tape for the movie itself, which is kind of a bummer. You would expect people who come to car boots, they would check their items before they sell them i know there's going to be some people that just try con but this guy seemed really nice and the other two items are perfect so i can only assume that he just didn't check and it just wasn't in there well as i hope to assume that anyway i hope that is the case but yeah it was a bit of a moment that that wasn't in there uh so unfortunately i can't sell that at the moment either so i'm just gonna hold on to it and see if i end up finding a tape in the wild I'll put that in and complete the set and maybe sell it then. So yeah, we got picked up them. So I picked up the three of them for £18 uh, all in. The Terminator box set, which I paid £6 for if you split it in three. That one goes for anywhere between £10 and £15. 
So I'm actually still gonna make some money on that particular one, but I may lose some money on the overall deal. But that's just how it is on car boot sales, and you live and you learn. Like I got a bit lazy because it was raining, and I just wanted to put the stuff in my bags. I didn't normally I would sit there and open everything and check every uh, single aspect of it. But you know I didn't want to risk damaging anything with the water. So hey, my mistake. And from one bad story to another one i picked up a box a balance board so there's the box for it i'll put another one in there but yeah picked up a box we balance board now we balance boards are pretty good because with a game they'll go for about 20 without a game they'll go for about 10 15 so yeah i picked this up unfortunately though once again in a rush i just looked in the box seen it's there i was happy to pick it up I didn't spot this. It's not coming out very clear on the camera, but these are all rotten batteries on there. And well, they come out fine, but the the part where there's supposed to be a metal prong there for the battery to, you know, connect, that's completely gone. It, it, in fact, it's not even there anymore. It's just like rusted into a million pieces or something. So unfortunately, that was a bust. I paid seven quid for this. The good thing I got out of it was the was the box itself because i've got another balance board which i'll talk about in just a second but yeah essentially i paid seven pound for a um battery cover because that's the only thing that's going to be useful from this i had a look at spares and repairs to see if i could sell it um as spares and repairs and it's about a quid and you know it's not worth my time to be honest so that's going in the skip but i will keep the battery cover because sometimes you do find balance boards without the battery cover and that would be a good thing to sort it out with so yeah good for the spares box finally we come to my favorite pickup from the car boot haul i picked up this magnetic set now lady said it was unused it was open but unused and it might well be it's supposed to have 200 pieces so I sat down last night and counted through the pieces, uh, put them all in the box, etc. Made them neat, taped the box inside so it doesn't move around because these were like falling out all over the place. And either she did open it and it was played with or I've lost a piece because it wasn't packed in properly. I've lost two pieces, no, three pieces. So this is actually going to be 197 pieces. But considering I picked it up for two quid, that's a pretty good deal these will go for anywhere between 15 and 25 pound i've seen a couple where they've just sold it without the box 200 pieces of magnetics going for 25 pound or i've seen this particular box i've seen this go for anywhere between 13 and 15 pound i'm gonna aim for 20 and hope for the best but from two pound into 20 pound that's a good deal Right, so that was everything I picked up from the car boot. And, um, you know, I was quite happy with the whole overall. A little bit disappointed of, about the couple of things that didn't go so well for me. The videotapes, to mention one, the rebalance board was another one, was really disappointing. I decided, all right, I've spent this much money. I haven't come out with what i wanted really i want i wanted you know i really want to kick start this again so i started trolling facebook marketplace and i found a really good deal on a wii so this wii was the black edition wii it comes with a few games and it also comes with a wii balance board so i said we're going to mention the wii balance board again so we'll start with that so the wii balance board i got with with that one so i've just put the new wii balance board in the box so now it's a boxed wii balance board which probably increases the value a little bit uh, but this one's battery pack is perfect nothing wrong with that i do need to still do the proper testing to see that it all works properly but as positive news if that all goes well that plus we fit plus plus we fit plus will go for 20 quid so that's one part of that bundle I picked up the whole bundle for 30 quid by the way it, it was listed for 35 and he agreed to 30 i contacted him within 
about 10 minutes of him listing it so good good easy um sale for him we got a black wee bundle so everything's in there it's got all the wires the sensor the controller it actually also has uh, another Wiimote, a white Wiimote, and it has a white nunchuck, and it has white battery packs for the Wiimote. So actually, that doesn't shouldn't be in the box, and I've seen one of these sold for £41 because this is the Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort pack. So that actually goes in this box, and a bundle of that will go for £41, roughly. I mean, I'll aim for... 35 i'll be quite happy with that so we'll sell that we'll take the wee mo the white wee mo out and sell that separately and that goes for 10 pound with a nunchuck so that's what well for 45 pound uh plus the wee balance board which is another 20 quid so that put us up to 65 pound for something i spent 30 pound on and then we've got a couple of games none of them are worth a lot um, I think the red steel is worth a quid and these two on a good day will worth, be worth three quid each providing they work so I might chuck them in with the Wii and just increase the price of the Wii a little bit or try and sell them separately I think I'm gonna chuck them in with the Wii I can't it's not worth the three pound and then charging for postage I don't think they'll sell so I might just chuck them in with the Wii and increase the Wii's price but I tell them yeah, I'll do that. But yeah, uh, so that really improved my day because I walked away with a wee bundle. I can eat the cost of uh, the balance board that doesn't work. The seven quid will just come out of the free balance board that I got with the Wii. So, you know, so you get some wins, you get some losses. Um, my favorite item, I think, was the magnetics. I think that's really cool to buy something for two quid uh, and potentially make 20 pound out of it i think it's a really good deal but yeah that's everything i've picked up from well picked up from the car boot and facebook marketplace this week i hope to do this more often but you know me i can't i can't stick to a schedule so we'll see how it goes but hopefully this will kick start me back on ebay because so far i've just been listing stuff i already had as you know pops as you may have seen is gone a lot less than what it was that was two full shelves and now there's really only the top two shelves are complete with pops so i'm selling through a lot of them I'm selling through some of my old ps4 stuff ps5 coming out so that's gonna be good and i'm just selling through some of my old collectibles that i'm not really fussed about holding on to anymore so i think that's the way to do it that's the way to start get into it by selling some of the stuff you got and then start looking for stuff at boot sales and charity shops etc and um yeah let's hope that it goes well but thank you guys very much for watching let me know in the comments below what item was your favorite pickup from this week and click that bell icon if you want to find out whether i'm going to release another video or not uh but hopefully i should be going to the next car boot as well next weekend and pick up some more bits and um, yeah we'll see how it goes thank you guys very much for watching once again take care goodbye